an investor looking for premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Very good morning to you and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. Australian shares are expected to open higher this morning, tracking gains on Wall Street as active steps to rescue distressed banks eased fears of a banking crisis and boosted sentiment. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.7% gain today. Yesterday, the Australian share market closed 1.4% lower at 6,899. Looking at business news from this morning now, and Incitec Pivot has reached an agreement for the sale of its ammonia manufacturing facility located in Wagaman, Louisiana in the U.S. to CF Industries Holdings for a total value of $2.5 billion. They've also secured a 25-year ammonia supply agreement with CF for up to 200,000 short tons of ammonia per year to support the Dino Nobel America's explosives business. The value allocated to the Anemonia Supply Agreement is around $634 million, which will be offset with the cash proceeds of the sale agreement for Wagaman. The divestment of Wagaman remains subject to U.S. antitrust regulatory clearance and the completion of other customary closing conditions. Australian coal miner New Hope Corporation says its reported first-half earnings have more than doubled, helped by a surge in prices of the commodity. The firm posted net profit attributable of $668.6 million in the six months ending the 31st of January, its highest first-half profit ever compared with $330.4 million a year ago. National Australia Bank's Chief Financial Officer Gary Lennon will retire on the 1st of October after seven years in the role. NAB's current group executive for strategy and innovation, Nathan Goonan, will take on the additional role of finance chief starting on the 1st of July, the country's second largest lender said. Goonan, who has been part of the bank's executive leadership team since 2020, has led multiple initiatives, including playing a lead role in the divestment of NAB. NAB's UK and US businesses and the acquisition of Citigroup Inc's Australian consumer business. Well, it's time for a break now, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. And welcome back to the ASX of Breakfast Report. Now the Dow Jones Industrial Average jumped 1.2%. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 rose 0.89%. The Nasdaq gained 0.39%. Across the Atlantic, European markets closed higher. London's FTSE added 0.9%. Frankfurt gained 1.1%, while Paris closed 1.3% higher. In Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei lost 1.4%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng dropped 2.7%, while China's Shanghai Composite closed 0.5% lower. Brent Spot is up 0.8% at $73.70 US cents a barrel. And Spot Gold climbed 1.6% to its highest price from March 2022 at $2,009 per ounce. It's now 0.6% loss at $1,977 per ounce. Well, that's all for our ASX of Breakfast Report this morning here at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel signing off for now.